Welcome to this updated tutorial on the Unreal Engine Auto Setup Workflow. This tutorial provides a workaround for transferring characters to Unreal Engine while preserving the morph setup. For those unfamiliar, Reillusion Auto Setup is a plugin that saves an enormous amount of time in the setup process of Reillusion characters in the Unreal Engine. It automates the process of transferring and setting up a character in Unreal and assigning digital human shaders. For more instructions on operating auto setup, check out the tutorial links in the description. Previously, you could include the motion in the FBX character file and import it directly into Unreal. However, changes in Unreal Engine 5.5 have made this workflow unreliable, causing inconsistencies with morph shapes. To address this, you'll need to import the skeletal mesh and animations separately. The following is a step-by-step -step breakdown of this process. First, if Auto Setup is already installed, skip this step. Otherwise, disable unwanted plugins in Unreal Engine. Go to Edit Plugins, search for Interchange, and disable all related plugins. If a warning message appears, click Yes to dismiss it. After disabling the plugins, click Restart Now to relaunch Unreal. Now, let's import an FBX file. Go to the Content Browser, right-click, and select Import. Pick the FBX file that contains the skeletal mesh along with its animation. Make sure that Enable Character Creator and iClone Auto Setup is enabled, and select HQ Shader for better texture quality. We can use the Import FBX Options window to import the skeletal mesh before the animation. But before that, we need to enable Use T0 as Reference Pose to make sure the initial pose is correct. Then, if we want to import the character morph data, enable the Import Morph Targets option. For now, we should disable the Import Animation option under the Animation section. We'll be dealing with that later. Click Import to bring in the skeletal mesh, and after it's loaded, a skeletal mesh icon will appear on the Content Browser window. To make sure the morph data was properly imported, Double-click on the skeletal mesh and test out the morph sliders under the Morph Target tab. Afterwards, click the Auto button to reset the sliders. Now we will need to bring in the corresponding animations for the imported character. It's important to create a new folder and import the animations into it in order to prevent naming conflicts. Let's just name it Animation. For the animation, we'll import the same FBX file that was used before. In the Import dialog, disable Import Mesh. Naturally, we'll need to make sure that the imported skeleton and animation are a fit for each other. To do so, click on the skeleton. In the Animation section, set Animation Length to Animated Time in order to crop out static frames from the imported animation. An animation sequence will appear in the content browser, which we will now test out on our character. Drag the skeletal mesh to the viewport and create a level sequence to house the animation. Drag the skeletal mesh into the sequence and click the plus icon to select the imported animation. Finally, play back the animation to view the results. That concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.